Closed captioning for great tastes is presented by Manitoba Turkey Producers. Try something different. Try it with turkey. Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods. Great Taste is sponsored by Manitoba Agriculture. We are so glad you are joining us tonight. Great Taste of Manitoba. I'm Des Daniels and we are going around the world again tonight. Turkey appetizers from around the world. We have Chef Jason Wurtzman back with us tonight and Ben Rush. Uh, ben, we're going to get back to you in a second, but um, appetizers I think sometimes are even more fun than uh, like a regular meal because they're small and, and fun. So what are we doing tonight? Mm. Well, tonight we're starting with uh, Caribbean lettuce wraps, and then after that we're going to do a Vietnamese salad roll with uh, cherry hoisin sauce that we're mm. going to make it from scratch. Delish. Yeah, and then we're going to do a Thai uh, turkey satay with a peanut sauce. Okay. Now, uh, again, around the, it's like we're always trying to get rid of you, Ben, but we, we want you to come back. Uh, what, what do you oh, think? Oh, I'll be back. I'll be I'll back. Be back. Okay. Yeah, this is really getting the uh, the wheels turning upstairs, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Appetizers are a great way to you know mingle and stuff like that, and to find uh, liquor to go with it that you know kind of encourages that and, and kind of you know fun makes it fun makes well, it fun. Please. We're gonna make it fun. We're gonna have fun making it fun. If you insist. All right. I'll I see do you insist. Shortly. Very good. Okay, so Caribbean turkey lettuce wraps. I hear lettuce mm. wraps. I get a little panicky, but we'll get to that in a sec. I mean, yeah. It's a little bit tricky, but it's also super fun. But let's start mm. with our ground turkey. Yes. So I'm just uh, going to get this browning here. Got mm -hmm. some ground turkey here. And uh, using ground turkey is just a great it's a great uh, base for so many different things. It's just a clean canvas. Mm -hmm. You can add all kinds of different flavors to it. It's high in protein. Incredibly uh, lean as yeah, well, Yeah, very right? lean. Yeah, high in iron as well. Uh, okay, so, so yeah, very nutritious. It's a great, great protein choice. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and so what are we adding to our turkey today for yeah. these appetizers? Well, it's very simple. Um, you know, not a lot of spices. It's just the natural ingredients to give it that uh, Caribbean uh, flavor, really, is uh, some red onion. Okay. Peak of the market, yet again. Yes, sir. And of course, Granny's mm -hmm. turkey, right? Yeah. yeah, and we have uh, some yellow pepper here as well. It already looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's also peak of the market. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and That's some green, green onion. Onions. So what would be essential if you're talking about Caribbean, because uh, uh, I think you've got some cilantro there as well. Yeah, ginger. Right. You know, sometimes I'll put a little uh, allspice in as well, but not for this one. I wanted to just keep it, keep it a little simple. bit of cleaner simpler flavor. Okay. I do have some chipotle, mm -hmm. which is uh, really it's a smoked smoked jalapeno pepper. Okay. Sort of like mega hot, but just kind of like a... Um, yeah, uh, nice, nice, uh, nice rounded heat to it. Okay. A nice smoky flavor. I wasn't flavor. sure what, how to describe it, but I knew you'd have the right word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then just a little bit of sea salt here. A little sticky sea salt. Yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, that's how we make up our mixture here. And then the cilantro, cilantro. really gives it... A nice fresh flavor, mm -hmm. and you know some people love cilantro, some people not so much. So yeah. really put in it's as much true. as you want. It's yep. so true. Like you mm -hmm. either love it or you or you hate it. And yep. uh, fortunately, I love it. Um, and so the yeah. other thing is, we can now we can pre-brown if if we're going to be making the, the wraps later. Yes. We can pre-brown uh, the turkey. Now, would you do it with all of these other elements, or would you just brown the turkey first and then add it all in later? I would add it all in later. Okay. Just like this, and this is you know it only takes a few minutes, and then just seconds. to finish it off with a little bit of lime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. So yeah. hello. So, so this this has already been essentially browned. So this yes. is just we're adding in our, mm -hmm. our last little bit of ingredients. Yeah. Now and it's nice to have it hot. Yeah. So then we're just going to transfer it into a bowl here. Okay. We can give you a little hand and with that. That's probably good enough. <laughs> yeah, I think yep. that'll and do for the two in. of us here. Yeah, yeah for sure. Okay, um, and so here we are. Now, what kind of lettuce do we want to use with it? Is it because we have what this is? Uh, this is a curly leaf lettuce. Curly leaf lettuce. Uh, but you can use small uh, romaine as well, or you could use a butter lettuce. Anything that you can really just make into a cup. And, malleable, like yeah, sort of. Okay. Something malleable you can fold. And the, the nice thing about this appetizer is you can get your guests to do the work, make it themselves. Yeah. But also they can put as much. Some like a lot of guacamole 
guacamole, some none at all. You can have some uh, hot uh, spicy sauce if you want to add to it. Personalize and, it. Yeah, well, and, and it would be impossible it. to, you know, really kind of make these ahead because you pretty much have to make them and then eat them right away. Other the, otherwise, the lettuce will get kind exactly. of, you know, kind of yeah. icky. Yeah. So, so you have the nice crunchy lettuce. So, I yeah. feel like just watching you do yeah. this. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Very simple. You just take uh, some meat. Oh, I'm going to make one too. What the heck? Pass that over to okay, you. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just. And then I'm gonna put some guacamole in there. Oh, you can smell the, the peppers mm -hmm. in there. So just right in the middle? Yes. Because I guess essentially what you're gonna end up doing is like kind of just yep. creating a little. Now we're all yep. gonna sit here for the rest of the segment and watch you eat that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. I would never do that to you. Okay. <laughs> Now, can you overload it? I guess probably not, yeah. hey? Well, it's you can't, it. it'll same. just get messy, that's get all. messy. Yeah. Well, I don't imagine, I can't imagine any other way that you would, uh, it, it, like, you can't, you, you can't not mess up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of fold it up and, yeah. you know, you eat it up that way. Absolutely. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So Granny's Turkey. And again, like, the thing that is so great about this, like you mentioned, everybody can make their own. It's kind of a fun communal activity. Mm -hmm. The other thing I love about this, and, and uh, you know, even with the inclusion of the other ingredients, is that it's really healthy. And, you, you know, you yeah. talk about, people talk about the appetizers that they like to have you know, when they're maybe low carb or, mm -hmm. you know, trying to be more health conscious. And I just can't imagine a healthier appetizer yeah, than this sure. right here. Although I'm sure that there will be more of them because uh, turkey is all about healthy. And so this is uh, Turkey Appies from around the world. Off we go. We are going to stamp your passport in a minute. And our next stop is Vietnam. I do hope that you will stay right here on Great Taste of Manitoba. We'll be right back. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba. Brought to you in part by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods.